How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to what happens if a super volcano blows up by in a nutshell. All right, so I'm really, really excited to get back into in a nutshell, man. Like I keep saying in the the newer videos that they came out with, it's just something about them, like the new like little information and stuff, the stuff that they actually talk about, the topic, I guess, you know, the topic of the video is just something really, really interesting, you know? And it's like, this one ties in the same vein kind of is like, what happens if the moon just crashes into the earth? You know, it's like, what if something very, very massive just happens to the earth? And like, that's what's really, really interesting about these like newer videos, you know? And it's just little questions that I didn't really know I wanted answered, you know? It's, that's what I explain a lot of the In A Nutshell videos. So without any further ado, here is what happens to a super volcano blows up. The Earth is a gigantic ball of semi-molten rock with a heart of iron as hot yeah, as the surface is. of the sun. Titanic amounts of heat left over from its birth Ooh. and the radioactive decay of trillions of tons of radioactive elements find no escape but up. Currents okay. of rock spanning thousands of kilometers carry this energy to the surface. Just wait till it goes boom. Earth's crust it's like a is the only thing in their way. It feels solid to us, but it's only a fragile barrier. Oh, shrivers! The flaming behemoth. True Why did you put it that way? Oh my God! And unleash eruptions tens of times. Oh, the there it is! Weapons combined, subjecting the climate to centuries worth of change in a oh, single year, man. while drowning continents in toxic ash and gases. My Super man! How big can they get? And will they put an end to humanity? What, what's what's the one called on uh I think it's Yellowstone, right? Lava lamp. That one's a super volcano, I believe. And we're just waiting for it to erupt. Volcanoes. Volcanoes. There are many types of volcanoes from towering mountains to lava domes. But they have two main oh, volcano, sources. there's something cool about the it, man. Is at the boundary very dangerous, but very caves, pretty. The pieces of the crust that cover the earth like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Yes. There are seven major tectonic plates and they dozens keep just of smaller ones pushing together against each other yeah. up to 15 <laughs> centimeters per year. This sounds slow. I would love to see that, man, the actual time loop of the continents moving or plates to stay on the surface. Uh -huh. The winning plate crumples into a new mountain range while the loser is shoved underneath into an ocean of hot rock at 1,300 degrees Celsius. All right. The stratosphere. This reminds me of like elementary science, but I love it so much. Into a liquid, but Very the informational. The pressures of all that mass keep it a superheated solid. All right. Tectonic plates are usually in contact just, uh... with water for thousands of years and absorb some of it. When they're submerged into the hot underworld, this water triggers chemical transformations that allow tiny portions to melt into magma. Oh, science! Liquid so magma cool, is less man. Dense than solid rock, so it rises to the surface in furious bubbles that accumulate in sponge-like reservoirs right under the crust. Okay. If enough, magma I didn't know how it was actually it done. That's very interesting. The crust, which we experience as volcanoes. All right. This happens under the winning plate, like a revenge attack oh. by the loser before it's erased forever. That's a nice way to put it. Like so you push me in the ground, I'm gonna kill you. Plumes. These are columns of abnormally hot rock oh. that rise all the way from the planet's core mantle. Bro, that's a travel. Much less is known about them, but in a way, it's as if the Earth's mantle has weather patterns and mantle plumes are a little like hot air okay. rising to form storms. So yeah, the hot and cool storms would still of work, of right? Old, made of rock circulating at How a heat rate travels of upward meters per month. They don't care about the motion of tectonic plates, so they can break the crust. Like, bam! You wanted a volcano? No? Well, too bad. Nowhere ...that stubbornly stay active as the crust shifts around them. The volcanic boom meter. Oh, Scientists I'm sorry? love to put big booms on a scale and came up as with a rhythmic scale that measures the volume ejected during an eruption. Interesting. So kind of like the earthquake VNX scale. Or VEI. Simply put, bigger? it starts oh. pretty small and gets even very bigger big very quickly. Very, very quickly. A VEI2 eruption would fill 400 full Olympic swimming pools with lava. We have Thank you for saying <laughs> Olympic. At Golem. VEI3, we already see devastating effects, like the eruption of the Semeru volcano in 2021. That My man, there's still, there's what, eight? In We're only on three? At VEI5, we see catastrophic amounts of materials, cubic the kilometers nether? of debris. Oh, oh my God. Is that bird okay? Into the air. Like the 2022 Honga Tonga Honga Hapai eruption that sent a shockwave around the globe. Can you say that name again, please? Honga Tonga? Oh, that's a not a laughing matter. Six, an eruption can change the world. 
1883, the Indonesian island volcano Krakatoa erupted nearly hey, I know that continuously one. over the course of five months. It's probably a reason why I know that one. Eruptions blew it apart, producing oh. the loudest sound recorded in Yeah, that's, that's the part I knew. Oh my god! Than a rocket taking off, heard a Trillion? The world. I didn't know it was that much. Oh my god. Nearby populations, and so much gas and ash were released. The global temperatures cooled by nearly 0.5 degrees God, in the Celsius. grand scheme of time, that Red wasn't a long time ago. Followed for many years. At VEI 7, oh, we get man. super colossal eruptions. That looks super colossal. Events that human civilization has only encountered a handful of times. Mount Tambora but was a 4, still a handful? That's more mountain mountain than I thought. Until it exploded in 1815 and released 400 times more energy than oh. the Tsar Bomber. 140 That's billion impressive. tons of ash and dust were shot halfway to space before smothering the world's skies, turning them a sickly yellow. Oh, there was no summer oh. the following year. Crops died. Really? And over a hundred. What gave you that impression perished. that there was no summer? This is the dreadful potential of volcanic eruptions. Well, volcanoes, like the I said, man, they're deadly. The other side of the world, and even centuries-long oh. cold periods being attributed to them. Hey. Okay, but what's a supervolcano? We haven't even the got to the super, super volcano. volcano. Is a media invention and News plus, not plus, a plus. scientific term. The main issue with them it's is okay. that not every it's still really dope. A super volcano is a super eruption. Oh. What makes super volcanoes special is that they've been waiting to erupt for hundreds okay, of Okay, yeah, years. so I was right. Pressure the one on Yellowstone. Colossal magma reservoirs several what if he's going to talk about that? He should. Until it becomes strong enough to lift the rock above it by several meters. Yeah, it's like a zit. Under the pressure until ah. they finally give way and billions of tons Ooh. of gas and ash blast out at supersonic speed. An Interesting. An insane explosion of at least a thousand cubic kilometers that impacts every Dude. corner of the globe. And yet, that is only a small portion of the magma reservoir. A small, small are like portion? a boiling pot of water, popping its lid off and spitting a bit off the top. Okay, Afterwards, that's a very good way to put it, my man. the void left behind, forming a hole called a caldera. Under this caldera, pressure starts building again until the volcano looks like the moon. enough energy <laughs> for another super eruption. But this could take hundreds of thousands. Is that a of pressure years. cooker? Stop! It's estimated that one of the few volcanoes capable of super clock. I love eruptions that. on Earth could cause a catastrophic oh, eruption every no. 17,000 years on average. Ah. That would make them far more frequent than comparable asteroid impacts. The most recent super eruption is the Oranui eruption 26,500 years ago in oh. New Zealand. That's a lot of TNT, of man, man. Dozens of billions of tons of TNT, a Mount Everest-sized pile of explosives, oh. a huge portion of the landscape was scooped out and thrown into the atmosphere. Oh! It left behind a caldera spanning 20 kilometers, and it caused the, hey, the end of a Dragon Ball Z fight to undergo a period of abrupt cooling. Though among super eruptions, so this is the cooling one he was talking firework. about. The Lake Toba eruption of 74,000 years ago was How a can much you more that significant to turning a firework. Point in Never mind. It I see. A gargantuan 5,300 cubic kilometers of material, enough to blanket parts of South Asia in Whoa. 15 centimeters of ash and trigger a rapid 4 degrees Celsius drop in global temperatures. It's possible that the volcanic global winter temperature, like the years, whole globe, followed by worldwide droughts for centuries. Earth's climate might oh. have not recovered for a thousand years. I like the dead animals. The largest volcanic events we know of were Land not really time. huge explosions. I used to watch out when I was a wee baby. Of cubic kilometers of lava. The grand finale oh. were the Siberian traps around 250 uh, million rawr. years ago, a continuous release of lava for 2 million years. They raised the ocean temperatures to over 40 degrees Celsius, huh. which caused the Permian I'm a dumb American, I'm not sure what that is. Killing over 90% of all species. Is that? Earth's surface needed 9 million years to recover. Million These years don't change the climate, they are the climate. But thankfully, we haven't seen anything even remotely close to that scale in many millions of years. All right, so, should you be scared of oh my god, definitely not. Okay, they've been used to frighten many people and are, over yeah, man, like an unavoidable apocalypse. I always found it so weird one, that we didn't, Yellowstone, eh. <laughs> But That's Jellystone, not Yellowstone. Small eruptions. Okay. Natural so it'll just be like a lava sure, pit. But not enough More to tourist attractions. Or come close to ending humanity. Okay. That was legitimately my whole concern of this whole video. Few hundred years is less than 2%. And oh. more importantly, it wouldn't come as a sudden surprise. However, less powerful but more frequent eruptions can also do serious damage to our civilizations. Yeah. A volcano is a volcano. A it doesn't concern. matter if it's super. 
so we must watch for slow changes in magma reservoirs, like ground swelling and temperature increases. Keep keep on top of it. Warning that can save like the lives we do earthquakes. of people living the closest to a volcano. Yeah. And there's time to develop solutions. We checked on Hawaii in a while. Sulfur and ash hey. The okay. To eliminate the root cause of the climate disruption. That's something I didn't even think about. Previous eruptions. Definitely you know, using your noggin. Maybe we'll even be able to turn this force oh, of destruction energy? into an agent for good by exploiting the geothermal energy held in their giant magma reservoirs. Oh, that would be so cool, man. We've done this work for so many other disasters, and we are already doing things we could only have dreamed about decades ago, like sending a probe to perform our first yeah? asteroid redirection test. With determination, humanity really can solve anything. Ah, it's so cool. It's so, so freaking cool. Us, we got a little space thing with this one. And waiting for its moment, you can sleep well tonight. <laughs> Oh, dude, bravo. I love the way you explain this one. Ahead of catastrophes like climate change and super volcanoes is interesting, but can also we get be challenging. Maybe you still feel like you don't really understand Skillshare. how most Billion of the behind it works. And on your own, Aww. it seems too hard to dig deeper. <laughs> At least you did that. To solve this, we've collaborated with our friends from Brilliant to create hey. a series of lessons I was to right. build your understanding of fundamental science. By exploring fascinating insights from our most popular videos on topics like black holes, the size of life, and climate change. Brilliant All good videos, man. Learning tool that makes and now you get to advance to your understanding of it. Really learn something That's what I love about In a Nutshell, it. man. They Think make sure you know. One -on -one deep dive version of and they make it fun. Video. In our latest lessons, you'll discover the mechanisms that drive climate change. Got all my daughters in school. Should I do these? Volcanoes <laughs> on our global climate. That'd be pretty cool, Beyond actually. New Kurzgesagt lessons regularly released. Brilliant has thousands of lessons. For and the fact that explore. yeah, they have their own From lessons. This was really cool like about it. And probability to the concepts behind machine learning. And Not really a math guy beauty. myself. With new releases each month, you'll always find something fascinating to learn. To get hands on with Kutz's That's so cool, man. Now, I love what they do. Go to brilliant.org/nutshell and sign up for free. And with a free trial of Brilliant Premium, you can explore everything oh, Brilliant has to offer. Possibilities are endless. Extra perk for hey! viewers. The first Got your brain. people to use the link get 20% off their annual membership, which unlocks like all of Brilliant's all of these videos. I'm a little tardy to the party. Computer science. We Computer science would be very helpful with our research. Brilliant will take you by the hand. There it is. On the right. Let's go. Is that ice cream? And the calendar. Oh, look how sexy that calendar is. Better than a Playboy one. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so, all right, that was so informational, man. And like I said, in the while I was reacting to it, like the information in this one, for some reason, like I loved it a little bit more than I did in the other videos. You know, like the way he explains stuff, like the tea kettle or kettle for the in instance. You know, like to have that as like a. a legitimate comparison to him talking about the volcano that he's talking about you know it's just you have that like he's showing you like a bird making tea you know and like getting scared of it bubbling up like and then it cuts to the volcano and it's like that's already in your brain so you picture that and you're like oh okay and that's such an easy way to establish it you know like what they're trying to tell you or like teaching you how to learn about volcanoes you know and then like they put that comparison together and it's just it's so freaking cool i love it and like that's the type of thing i love whenever i talk about like how they introduce you stuff in like little bite-sized pieces to where you actually get to understand like that's a great example of it right there and like I love the fact that they do that like they make sure that it's not boring for people to understand this stuff it's 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 very exciting like it is but like if you go about it the wrong way and you try to teach someone like just with a book or something like here read this and then you like run off like they're not gonna learn the same way that you do with like a channel like this like it's just so freaking impactful like especially for like younger people you know like if they could get up on this instead of like traditional school I think that would be freaking amazing that would be so cool and we actually get to learn important stuff you know not just here take a test and leave you know I think I don't know, I'm, I'm having a spiel here but I love I love in a nutshell so much so with that if the, well, I'm all types of lost I'm lost so help me so with, thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said I have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode later days